What's up guys? My name is Carl Richardson and today I want to share a fact with you guys. As of 2011, America was the only free market country to have a less educated current generation than the previous one. Increased access to the internet and the ability to teach online are two major factors that are going to shape the future of the education industry as a whole over the next 20 to 30 years. The first point that I want to talk about today are what's called ITSs. So an ITS stands for an Intelligent Tutoring System. I was first introduced to the concept of ITSs in my Cognitive Science 207 class at Northwestern. ITSs are able to effectively provide real-time feedback to students. And so what this would look like in reality is, say a student is utilizing an online platform for uh, math. So let's say Khan Academy, and the student would get an incorrect question, uh, question incorrect. The ITS would provide real-time feedback to that student and would provide hints as to where the student's work deviated from the correct answer, thus effectively uh, providing a, uh, a more holistic approach to the student's learning rather than um, just a simple um, yes, you got the question correct, no, you got the question incorrect. So it actually show and effectively tutor the student more effectively than if the ITS was not implemented. It's important to note, and this is something that my professor insisted on, intelligent tutoring systems would not make teachers obsolete. The teachers would still be necessary in this equation. However, ITSs could prove to be more effective resources for, uh, say, homework than simple uh, than simply taking home a paper problem set um, because of that real-time feedback that it provides. In addition to that, our professor was insistent upon the effectiveness in ITS in the math category. He said that the ITS, can't, the ITS cannot yet be extrapolated out in the language fields because um, of more ambiguous answers and more subjective answers. Data economy online also stated that an increase in access to personalized learning and quality education is lowering the resources needed to receive a quality education. Data Economy also stated that because of this increase in technology, there would um, be a shift in unemployment for teachers. However, the person that I interviewed for this discussion post, Tanya Dressler, begs to differ on this topic. So Tanya Dressler is a teacher at a K through three grade school. And she states that the teacher student relationship is an integral relationship that will not become obsolete. Her thinking on this was that because the students, especially the age group she's working with are in such formative years, those developing and uh, growing stages of their lives will, will not be obsolete and not make the teacher-student relationships obsolete. She said that if the pendulum ever swung too far um, to the other side where technology was being implemented too much, then you would see a societal shift back to normalcy because of the mental health effects. That was her argument. In addition to Tanya's opinion, Scott Winstead writes, the role of the teacher in the educational system is indispensable. The future will depend on how much we are willing to invest in school personnel and all this additional support in the school that essentially makes learning possible. Scott stated that we have to be ultra cognizant as an education industry of the way that we're applying technology and to make sure that the utmost importance is the student's benefit and that we aren't implementing the technology to an extent in which it becomes the student's detriment. In addition to Scott's point, Tanya stated that students nowadays are reading less than ever before. She theorized that this was because of an increase in technology, television, smartphones, when the students returned home from school, not only amongst students' usage, but also amongst parents' usage. Lastly, the Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development stated that team teaching rather than individual work by oneself will be further enhanced in the coming years. They stated that an increase in demand in soft skills and working with others led to this change in demand for entrepreneurial skills um, from the workforce. Lastly, education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. That was stated by Malcolm X 50 years ago. 
Today, I argue to pay attention to the future by paying attention to education. Thank you.